While these bus bars are super cool and all, before we can assemble the battery pack, we actually have to do what's called the static bounce. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that right here. So we get these out of the way. Set these aside for a little bit. And now we have to actually open all these up and get them all in front of us ready to work with. This may be part of the reason why everyone wants to a battery bank, but nobody wants to build one because there's a lot of parts. So what I'm actually going to be able to uh, use to connect all these together, sometimes you can use the bars themselves or whatever, I'm going to use this stuff right here. So this stuff right here is actually a steel braid. I was actually looking at another video where I was kind of um, nagging about a guy using this to actually make his terminal bars, but someone in the comments said that these are pretty good for stringing them together while balancing. I've got two of these about six feet long, so what I'm actually going to do is connect these uh, along all the negatives for one and all the positives for the other one and we're going to sit there and let this balance charge overnight. Also before you connect all them together uh, it'd be a good idea to go ahead and check every one of the cells every single one to make sure that they are uh, pretty close to one another and that there's no dead cells. Um, now these right here they say that they guarantee no dead cells and in case uh, in this case this one is 3.2 Two nine volts, uh, but you want to make sure that there's not any dead ones in the batch, and you want to make sure that there's no duds. So as you can tell, all these cells here that we got from the battery hookup uh, are actually really, really nice. In fact, all these are balanced to a point where I can actually just start assembling the pack uh, and the little balancer will be able to do its job properly. None of them are too far out of balance. In fact, I think the highest one I've seen was 3.35 and the lowest I've seen was um, 3.27. So those are very, very close within one another. If they're within a tenth of a volt, uh, generally they'll be okay uh, anyways, but what I'm going to go ahead and do is go ahead and ho hook them up the way I want to show you. So you, if you guys have to do this at home, if your cells aren't this close to being balanced uh, in the first place, you can go ahead and get this set up uh, to static balance your battery packs. So the way I'm actually going to do this is pretty simple. Uh, I'm just going to use a little drill right here. And what I'm going to do is connect all the negatives of these batteries together. And the way I'm going to do that is actually to pull the screw apart, like so. Take my wire braid and punch a little hole through it, like so. Put the screw through the wire braid. And then reconnect the wire braid. Now, the only thing you really have to worry about when you connect every single one of these down this line, you want to make sure that these lines don't cross and touch one another uh, at the end. So... You want to make sure that as this is going down its row, you are not getting these crossed up and touching uh, the positive and the negative side together. Okay, now you see I have all the batteries connected together. This is all the negative sides. Are connected with this braid now we just have to do all the positive side with the other braid so if we can take this whole thing and get her spun around there we go now we're going to hook all these up right here using the other piece of braid now you definitely don't have to use just this braid. You can use whatever you want. You can use some speaker wire and strip it all back. Coat hangers, whatever. Uh, this is just what I happen to have laying around, uh, left over from another job. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and hook these up here and then we'll see what it looks like at the end. Okay, so you can see here we have all of these connected in parallel. So all of these positives and all of these negatives are connected the same. So if we take this clip here from the voltmeter, we hook it up to the negative and the positive terminals, we should see here our average volts is 3.3. .3. If you remember from what we were doing earlier, uh, this entire cell right here was about 3.3 .3 on average. So what you wanna do in this scenario is leave them all connected just like this and what you're going to do is overnight, the ones that are a little low and the ones that are a little high, they're going to average out. This number probably won't change a whole lot, but it's very important that you balance these out like that. That way, because uh, you don't, you can't really see what's going on here because this is an average voltage. So some of those are going to come up, some of them are going to go down, but right now they're going to become all nice and happy with one another overnight. And tomorrow we can start assembling the main pack. So then we'll break out these beautiful uh, machine bus bars that I made myself. I get a lot of comments on these uh, and where I got them from. The answer is I made them myself. I purchased the aluminum and I machined all of these little holes. Um, these are little recessed holes right here where the uh, screws go in. And these are the big holes right here where everything will uh, bolt to. So in this case, I will have um, 12 batteries in... Uh, parallel and then it will have 11 connections for the positive and for the negative side uh, So we'll get to building these here in the next day or so and I'll show you how I do those uh, But for right now, we're gonna let these guys be happy and balance out